time blocking. You have to time block your day. When you time block your day, you actually go into understanding how much you're worth an hour. So when I would work in the dealership, I'd get there in the morning by about 7.30. And by 10.30, I had done more in the day than three or four salespeople combined because I would time block every single minute and my time mattered. And that's the reason why I was able to scale how much I'm worth an hour because I actually was accountable for my time. I didn't get stuck at the coffee machine for an hour having a conversation with somebody. I knew I couldn't afford to do that. This right here is probably one of the most important things that you could have as an automotive salesperson, as anybody in life that's selling. Confidence. Think about this. What's next to confidence? Create new business. How can you create new business? Well, I create new business by posting. A lot of people that know me, um, I'm, when I made over 700 grand a year selling cars, I posted on Craigslist nonstop. I lived it. Facebook Marketplace wasn't available then. Erin, uh, she said, hey, um, Andy, you know, Craigslist don't work. I posted two cars for it. We sold both of them. I do. Certainty. Think about this word with me, okay? Certainty. If somebody was telling you something, if they were telling you something and they didn't seem 100% certain in what they were saying, what would you do? Well, you would leave. And this is what happens. Most salespeople, they can get to 99% certainty, but because they have 1% of uncertainty, the customer clings to the 1% and they leave. This is a time where you gotta check yourself from the neck up and decide, man, hey, look, how's my believability skill? How's my confidence? Look, how's my believability? How's your conviction? Plan for revenue. All right, you say, Andy, what's that mean? Plan for revenue. That means how much money do you wanna make? Every single day, right? Look, this is how your day is going. You're time blocking your day. You're going to create new business. You have to plan, which means how much money do you want to make each day? Let me ask you that question. Do you want to make 500 a day? There's 20 days in a month You know that you're working by the time you take your days off. That means you're going to make $10,000 in a month. If you want to make 20,000 a month, you have to plan for $1,000 a day. Look, plan for how much revenue that you want to make each day but you have to plan for it. Because if you don't decide exactly what you want, you won't go get it. If you just go into work and you say, hey man, I wanna make a whole bunch of money, that won't work. In order to make 200 grand, do the math. Energy is important. Momentum feeds the machine with you and the customer's relationship. I am constantly building up momentum as I'm going through doing business with my customer, all right? Most people, they tire out and they get slow, not me. I get faster, better, bigger, stronger. And that's what I need you to take from me. As you guys are watching my sales style, you're like, man, you know what? Andy, I do need more energy. How do you get it? Where do you get it from? Well, it's real easy. I train myself to have it. And plus our customers deserve it. And if you can give it to every customer, most likely all of them will buy from you. Now let's talk about some things real quick. Word tracks are very important. Plan to build. All right, what does that mean? Well, here's the deal. Everybody has to have time in their day to do what? Make money, which is make revenue, train, okay, and also to build. You guys are a business inside of a business. I know a lot of people right now that have their own landing pages. You don't have to have a landing page to be successful, but it sure makes a big difference because people go to websites to get information, but when they go down funnels, what happens? You capture the lead, and leads create sales. What happens when his words are wrong? You see, because most salespeople that sell 30 plus cars a month, the one thing that they know is this, their words are everything. And most salespeople say 70% of the right stuff, but 30% of the wrong stuff. And every time you say something wrong, it pulls the sell backwards again. Look, when people buy, they make decisions one or two ways, actually both. One, logically, right? Logically, like what you're saying logically makes sense to me. And then second, with my gut. I decide as I hear you talking to me, hey man, do I believe in this guy? Do I look up to this person? Do I think that what they're telling me, right? 
is right in persuasion and in influencing people? Are you taking the way you feel and pushing it into the customer? Think about it. I can take anybody in any state, take the way that I feel, walk up to them, put my arms around them, and push the way I feel into them, and they'll, and they'll act that way. You have to learn to make gross. If you learn to make gross, guess what's gonna happen? You're just gonna make minis your whole life. Now look, maybe you are the rare exception and you work at a, what? A unit volume store only. That's like 3% of the population out there. The other 97%, guys, we have to put up gross, we have to make money, we're paid off of gross profit. Guys, there's a million ways to skin a cat, but you have to be great at closing, negotiations, overcoming objections, word tracks, and not just closing, but closing for all the money.